Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up webhook inside WhatsApp Cloud API. So a webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications as an event happens. WhatsApp Cloud API is the cloud version of WhatsApp Business API which allows businesses to communicate with their customers at a large scale. So in this video, I'm going to tell you step by step that how you can set up a webhook inside WhatsApp Cloud API and send the data to other applications as an event will take place. So to begin with the setup, I will go to my trigger window and over here I'm going to search for WhatsApp Cloud API as my trigger application and here it is. So now moving to the trigger event that will be message notification triggers when a new message is sent, delivered or received. So I'm going to select my trigger event. So as I did that over here, you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that over here, a help desk is given. So I'm going to show you the help desk as well. So this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect our WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pabli Connect. So here in the help desk, you can find the videos that are created for the complete WhatsApp Cloud API setup. You can refer them on our channel. So over here, you can see the steps. So as we have already selected a trigger application and the trigger event here in Pabli Connect, so we are going to go to the further steps. So over here, we need to go to a Meta for Developers dashboard. So this here is my Meta for Developers dashboard and over here, I've already set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account. So now over here I will go to WhatsApp and now I will go to configuration. So over here under configuration it says webhook to get alerted when you receive a message or when a message status has changed you need to set up a webhook endpoint for your app. So as we have got the webhook URL over here in Pabli Connect so we are going to set up this over here. So I will go to edit and now I need to mention the callback URL. That means the webhook URL. So I'm just going to copy the webhook URL from Public Connect and over here I'm going to paste it. So now moving to the verify token. So we are going to get the verify token from the help test that is given. So this over here is the verify token. So I'm just going to copy this token and I'm going to paste it over here in this field. And now I'm going to click on verify and save. So over here, as I've mentioned the callback URL and the verify token, you can see that a webhook has been successfully added. So now moving to the webhook field. So I will go to manage and over here, I'm going to scroll down and over here under messages, I'm going to click on the subscribe button. So once I've done that, now I'm going to click on done because over here it says successfully subscribe to the messages. That is this field. So I'm going to click on done. So here that means we have successfully added a webhook inside a WhatsApp Cloud API account. Now whenever a message will be sent or received then automatically the details will be captured in Public Connect. So now over here in Public Connect as well you can see it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So to do a test submission I'm going to send a WhatsApp message. So over here you can see that this is the message that I have received so I'm going to send a message that will be okay thanks. And I'm going to send it. So over here you can see that I've sent the message and the details would have been captured in Public Connect. So over here in Public Connect I have got the details. So over here you can see the message that was sent that was okay thanks. Here you can see the type as well that was text. You can see the messaging product that was WhatsApp. So scrolling down here you can see the number and this here is the name of the person who has sent the message and over here you can see the field as messages. So here you can see that I have got the details of the message that I've sent and over here it is successfully captured over here in Public Connect. So here that means we have successfully set up a webhook inside WhatsApp Cloud API. Now every time I'm going to send, receive or deliver a message then I'm going to get the details of the message over here in Public Connect. So as I've successfully built a connection between WhatsApp Cloud API and Public Connect. So just by going on to this action window I can select any application where I want to send the data. So if you like this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications and create amazing automations by using Pabli Connect. So you can reach us at support at the rate If you have any queries, you can write us to https.forum.pabli.com and for pricing related issues, you can visit this link. So you can create a lot more automations by using Pabli Connect and don't forget to share these videos with your friends, colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more.